everyone. Uh, welcome to another lecture of quantum mechanics. Uh, today we'll learn about linear operator. Okay. So, what is a linear operator? How it is defined? Now, an operator, an operator. A is said to be an operator A is said to be linear if if the operator follows the following conditions. Now if we have this thing that A operates on a scalar quantity multiplied by so operating on psi and this the scale quantity comes out as it is and it, it is equivalent to this format now a is a scalar is a constant a is a scalar constant now what does it mean a scalar we have learned about a constant what is a scalar constant because it actually scales a scales psi Right. Like in vectors, we have um, say when we multiply by a real constant, it increases the magnitude of the vector. It's not exactly the same thing, but uh, you can think of it that it scales uh, psi a times. Okay, and that's why it's called a scalar constant. Now, operating a on psi1 and psi2 is equal to a psi1 plus a psi2 okay so if so this is the distributive property okay this is the distributive property distributive property of the operator. Now, if these two conditions are satisfied by an, by an operator A, then this operator is said to be linear. Okay. Now, we can combine these two statements into one. Okay. So, instead of like doing separately, we can write that there is another uh, like putting, you can write A and B in one statement. The statement is A operating on <coughs> some A psi 1, B psi 2. Now, what happens is after the operation is done, it should look like this. Now, we'll take an example to see what is happening here. Like sometimes it's not obvious from this uh, statement. So, if this is this side is equal to this side, then the operator is said to be linear. Okay, the operator is said to be linear. Now, if if A is non-linear, if A is non-linear, then A operating on a psi 1 plus b psi 2 should, will not be equal to a psi 1 plus b a psi 2. So, in this case, the a and a's and b's are it can be complex or real. a, and a b can be complex or real right now let's uh, take an example and see uh, what it is like to how do we find out or how do we tell that our operator is um, linear or not okay so let's take an example here uh, we'll take 
the example we have already uh, we have taken before is in the previous lectures d by dx yeah we had used this as an operator uh, to explain the definition of operator okay so let's check these rules let's see if it follows this one first one or not so if we have d dx this is a psi equal to a d psi we know that the derivative does not operate on the constant it will come out and it will look like this and it is basically equal to saying that a times operator operating on the wave function okay right so this was actually a operating on a psi all right now d by dx psi 1 plus psi 2 is equal to d psi 1 dx plus d psi 2 dx now we know that uh, this operator d, d dx operates on uh, psi 1 and psi 2 okay now uh, if we get this thing that uh, what we can write we can say that this is equal to this and this is of course this is equal to this right psi 1 and psi 2 are two different uh, wave functions now we can see that this satisfies both the things the a condition and the b condition or we could have used directly this okay so linearity can be checked by this format like this uh, condition okay uh, so we can conclude that a is a which is given by d dx uh, is a linear operator all right so it's clear to us it's a linear operator now we can take an example where we can say that uh, whether uh, we'll just pick up another operator and let's check whether it's a linear operator or not not so what we do is uh, what you should do is um, you should pause the video and try it for yourself uh, okay so i'll give you another example that is um, sorry so a is uh, also let's represent it by s we say that there is a square operator square operator what it does we define it as it whenever it operates on some quantity it squares the quantity okay so if it square it will square both wave function and the scalar quantity or we can write like this okay so this is equivalent to saying that s operates on psi and a square is multiplied but now we needed that it shouldn't affect the it shouldn't affect the scalar constant no effect on scalar constant should be there to for it to be a linear operator but if it's a non-linear operator it might affect the uh, should be there like i'm not saying it is there should be there for it to be a linear operator okay but in this case what is happening is this quantity is getting squared so this is affected okay the constant is affected now this cannot be a linear operator uh, cannot be a linear operator all right so we need to see this thing. So this is okay this is that is uh, like this does not uh, fall so we can safely say that this square operator is not a linear operator we can we should check the other one also uh, for complete um, this conclusion so if we take this thing s operating on psi 1 and psi 2 now what we will do it will just square this this uh, sum it will square this sum so we will get psi 1 square plus psi 2 square to psi 1 psi 2 okay so this is not equal to this is not equal to equivalent to saying that psi s operating on psi 1 and square operator operating on psi 2 uh, because there's an extra term here okay this is what this is this is equal to what this is this should be c psi 1 square plus psi 2 square now we can see that this is the extra term if you see in the lhs side right hand side okay this was the lhs and a right hand side was this one this rhs okay so we can see that this is rhs is not equal to lhs lhs 
is not equal to RHS. Okay, so this condition B condition is not followed here. Okay, both A and B are not followed. That means that the square operator S, the square operator square operator is not a linear operator. Okay, so these are the two examples. You should do it uh, by yourself. Okay, so the thing, the key is key in learn key of learning is like you have to try to do it without looking at it. Okay, understand it is a very simple concept to check how like how to check uh, which operator is linear or not. Quantum mechanics is a linear uh, theory. We will see that this um, Schrodinger equation is a linear uh, equation. Okay, so linearity uh, is checked according to this condition okay thank you for watching have a great day you, if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends 